Space Moth GX by 1CC Games contains everything you'd expect from an old school shoot 'em up. Nice tight controls, a varied arsenal of fast paced attacks, bullet belting enemies, and individual levels that contain their own atmosphere and personality. Space Moth has all the checks of your average run of the mill arcade shooter. The difference, however, is that games like Vexius and 1945 do not let you play as a flamethrowing magical moth with an overachieving need to obliterate all other life forms on screen. Gameplay. As the name suggests, you play as an extraterrestrial insect in a top down to bottom scrolling environment. The controls are a smooth 8 point directional movement style and the weapons are three interesting and unique approaches that will be paramount to learning if you want to progress in this game of course. You have your flame attack which engulfs anything in your direction with a large laser of incendiary fire, while your second attack is a three use bogey bomb that takes large amounts of damage to all creatures on screen and works well as a good tactic for cleaning out those mass amounts of creepy crawlies and purple projectiles that inevitably end up heading towards your general direction. Your final attack is a missile barrage that, though being less effective than your flame blast, has a wider reach and can peck off those previously mentioned weaker insectoid enemies. The missiles also have the added quirk of when a larger bug is hit enough times, turns them a midnight black with a neon pulsing highlight. In this form, they are vastly more aggressive and double their bullet pelting abilities, but if slain, they offer you a tasty reward of extra points that all go towards that top right high score of yours. Visuals. By now you've noticed the retro 90s art style and playful colour palette. This, at least to me, was the main draw to the game, as everything from the enemies to the backgrounds, attacks, effects and title screen have an oversaturated, ever-changing choice of hue to them. Bright pulsing carapaces and glowing highlights soak the stage in a psychedelic mixture that makes everything look alive and just plain gorgeous. Like something that came right out of a Mark J. Ferrari artwork. Stages. The levels of Space Moth are standard fare for a game of this genre. However, these stages do not pull any punches for your little Lepidotrian. Every other second, you are frantically dodging left to right, up and down against what seems an unending wave of purple enemies that'll end your life in one singular hit. This game wants you to know you're playing old school, and it is not afraid to throw at you everything it's got. Big bugs, little bugs, amphibians and arachnids, even the old orchid or fungus. From level to level, you are hectically tossing yourself in between projectiles and blasting away pests all trying to finish these long and demanding levels. Which, if you've managed to survive long enough, leads to a final confrontation with a colossal creepy crawly. Bosses. At the end of every stage, you will be faced up against a menacing boss that quintuples your own size, most of the time being nothing more than a battle with a giant head as you toss as many missiles, bogeys and flame attacks as you can manage before the countdown or your lives equals zero. These battles focus highly on your ability to dodge whatever attacks these hulking monstrosities fling in your direction, as well as trying your darndest not to actually touch these mammoths, unless you want to uh, find yourself suffering a premature extermination. Each boss basically is a war of attrition until you or it are reduced to nothing more than a fluorescent transparent dust. Thankfully, Space Moth has the merciful grace to add a quick save feature that upon your demise will spawn you either at the beginning of a stage or at the beginning of a boss encounter. But don't get too cocky, as this game, still sticking close to its arcade inspiration, allows no save feature and forces you to complete the entirety of the game in one teeth grind and sweat induced sitting. But uh, like I've already said, this ain't no walk in the park. This is your dad's shooter, and pay no mind, you'll need patience and skill to best this type of bullet hell. Final thoughts. Space Moth DX is a shooter that requires a certain mind frame to be in. If you don't do well with death and repetition, then 
Sorry mate, this is not the game for you. But if you're looking for a game to uh, really test your metal, your skills, your reflexes, that looks and feels like an old school shoot 'em up, and that'll make you feel genuine joy when finishing a death defying stage, then sir and or madam, this game is for you. But I'm not finished. Before you stroll away believing that I think this game is all tulips and roses, I want to point out one major game breaking flaw that I've had happen to me on two different computers and three different playthroughs. Upon beating a stage, when I've loaded the next one up, my lives were reduced to one. This happened to me at the start of the second level and on a separate computer on the third. Whether it's a glitch or some masochistic game breaking feature, it renders stages practically impossible to play. A fully released game should not have this major gameplay breaking issue. Hell, it really crushes the experience for me. And as much as I love the aesthetic of this game, it really drags down my overall opinion of the thing. Space Moth DX gets 6 out of 10 rating from me. It's as basic a shoot 'em up as you can get. But thanks to the vibrant, juicy colours and retro soundtrack, it just pushes itself over that average line. Currently, the game is priced at $7.99 US, and user reviews sit at it positive. Other games by this studio include Star Claws Trilogy Arcade and Casino Caravan Collection. For more personal recommendations, I point you to Strikers 1945 for the arcade and PlayStation, as well as Gradius 5 on the PS2. Well, feelers and chillers, that's the show. Like any video, don't forget to like it if you like it, comment if you want to, and hell, if you want more, play the smack down on that subscribe button. I'm your horrendously Aussie host, Video James, signing out.